In this video I'm going to show you how to add an intro to your video using Camtasia Studio. But you could of course use exactly the same technique to add an outro to your video too. So what we've got here is a video, it's in MP4, and let's just play that. After you log into WordPress, the first thing you'll see is your WordPress dashboard. Okay, so what we've got there is a white label video. So that's a video that you can take and you can put your own branding on that's been created by somebody else. And it's already got an intro. Let's take a look at that. So there's the intro. So what we want to do here is to take off that intro and then add our own branded intro. So let's take it off first of all. So I'm just selecting the intro that's already there and I'm going to cut to get rid of that. There you go, and it's gone. And now what we can do is we can add our own intro using a Camtasia template. So let's go to the library and you've got a variety of templates there that you can use. But I'm going to just take the animated title here, just drag it down onto uh, the timeline at the bottom, whoops, it's gone to the end, let's m move it over. And then that's quite long really for an intro, so let's just drop it down to a few seconds. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning, oh, let's go right back to the beginning. And then see what we've got. So that's our animated intro. We need to add the title, of course. After you log into WordPress, the first thing you'll see is your WordPress dashboard. Okay, so what we need to do now is to change the title. So I'm just going to click this plus here and then go to callouts and we can edit that text. So let's have and we can just rearrange that slightly by pressing enter. There we go, that's better. Now let's play what we've got. After you log into WordPress, the first thing you'll see now that could maybe do with a bit of a tidy up. Perhaps we want the intro to be slightly longer by just moving, moving the main video and um, making the intro a little bit longer but that's easy enough to do but you can see you can very quickly and easily get a very effective intro on your video without much skill needed at all okay so that's one way of adding an intro another way is that you can get an intro made for you and a good place to get this done is Fiverr because you can get them done very very cheaply now I've already got one of those that I've got from Fiverr so let's get rid of the uh, the intro we've just created. Just clicked on it and press delete. And uh, when you get your intro from Fiverr or anywhere else, in fact, um, it's come through as an MP4 file, video file. So all you do is just drag that down onto that timeline and put it in the right position. And let's play. There it is. You log into WordPress. and straight into the video. So you can see that's, uh, that's not the correct intro for this video, but it's one that I already had. And you can also put that on the end of the video in just the same way. You can also add music if you want to. So we would just go back to the library. You would find some music and there is some music there. And you can just drag that down onto the timeline and get that to play at the same time as the intro video. After you log into WordPress. Now that was quite an abrupt ending, it would be better if I faded out the music, but you can see how it works. Now when we're finished with our intro and We've added our outro as well if we want to do that. All you need to do next is to go to produce and share 
and then make your finished video.